All right. So every week I sit through 10 plus 20 plus meetings and I never have to rewatch a single one, but I still know exactly what was said, uh, what was promised and what needs to happen next. And this is because we built an AI agent that I can text like a real team member. Now, this isn't Fathom or Otter. It doesn't just transcribe. It actually understands. Um, and I can ask it things like, what was Mashud's last meeting about? Or give me the action items from Tuesday, and it will reply in seconds directly inside of Telegram. Uh, it's ultimately like having a chief of staff that never forgets, it never misses contact, and it always delivers what actually matters. Now, this system has given me back about 10 to 15 hours a week. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I built it and how you can roll it out to your team in less than a day. All right, so I'm going to show you how to build start to finish one of the most powerful N8N workflows uh, that exist out there. And the best part about this is you you can literally just text this assistant and it's going to provide you with information. So we don't need to go into Fathom and pull our recordings or look at the transcript. We don't need to go into Slack or open Slack or find a channel like none of this. And that was one of our biggest challenges is just wasting time doing that. So now I could send it a text and it's going to give me the information back. What that actually looks like is this right here. So you can see here, I can say, what could I have done better on my calls today? And it's going to break it down, highlight areas of improvement, clarifying questions, follow-up strategy, et cetera. And then we also have, uh, hey, what are the action items for my last call? It's going to break it down. Here's the action items from Ashud. Here's the action items from whoever this person is. Uh, and then clarifying questions, coaching feedback, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is pretty simple to set up and you can build anything you want off of this. So we're going to set up the base function of this and then you can be creative and add whatever you want. Now, it's already going to be very powerful as is. So the workflow is going to look like this. And the first thing we need to do is create a Google Sheet, okay? So the Google Sheet is simply going to have meeting date and time, meeting breakdown, invitees, and transcript, okay? So create your Google Sheet with those headers. That's all you need to do. The second thing we need to do is set up a Zap. Um, now you can use webhooks, but this, uh, if you, if you're not proficient in webhooks is by far the easiest and best way to do this. So just connect your Fathom account to your Zapier account. Um, and to do that, all we're going to do is connect Fathom trigger event is going to be new transcript and then connect your account right there. You just sign in with Google. Uh, you want to make sure the trigger is set to my meetings. And then you just run a test and it's going to pull in this. Okay. Now in here, we are going to filter to make sure that uh, it is not an internal meeting. Now you can choose if you want internal meetings included on this, just all meetings or external meetings. We wanted basically all external meetings because we have a good idea of what's happening internally, but you can do either. Now for the post of the webhook. This is where a lot of people get stuck. I'm going to show you exactly how to post a webhook to N8N so you can use this in other workflows as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a webhook node. So you're going to hit the plus icon. You're going to type in webhook and pop that in here. Now you can see test URL. We're just going to click on this and copy this. And then that is going to go into the URL. Okay. Uh, now payload type is going to be form. And in data, you're just going to add these values like this, okay? Um, so we're going to have one for transcript, one for meeting title, one for start time, and then one for invitee emails, okay? And when we do that, we are simply going to add the transcript, the meeting title, the scheduled start time, and the meeting invitees to that. So you just hit the plus icon, you go to transcript, or sorry, fathom, and then you just get the information and put the transcript in there, okay? Now, once you do this, you have to come back here and I'm going to delete this webhook. You're going to click in here and you're going to click listen for test event. Now, once you click listen, you can test this step or retest this step. And you're going to see a request was sent to webhooks by Zapier about four minutes ago. Okay. And then it's going to look like this. You're going to have the headers, you're going to have the body, and then the webhook URL over here. Okay. Now, you, we just want to verify the body is correct. So we see invitee, emails, meeting title start time, and then transcript, okay? That's all we need for now. The next step is going to be setting up our OpenAI uh, GPT. And um, now, again, this agent that we're actually covering uh, is, is you could just connect it to a Google Sheet, okay? You don't need all of this, but if it, I'm also just showing you kind of extra value here, how to connect Fathom and send it to Google Sheets. Um, this piece over here, 
will be covered in another video. This is how you actually update your ClickUp boards and any other items based on the actual action items that were talked about on these calls. But uh, for now, we're just gonna send it to the Google Sheet. So uh, OpenAI is gonna have a prompt and it's gonna say something along the lines of you're an AI assistant responsible for analyzing uh, call transcripts and generating structured, concise, and actionable post-call summaries and reports. Your primary user is blah, blah, blah. Context, the assistant receives full transcripts from the client check-in calls. Reports are used internally to track stats. Now, I know this is a long prompt. If you want this prompt or you struggle creating prompts, let us know in the comments and we'll make sure that you get a copy of this prompt. Um, but you basically are going to write it. So thoroughly analyze and provide the transcript to understand the context, key themes and outcomes, generate a brief, clear summary of the call content, identify and list all action items, separating them by personal um, person responsible and internal external categorization, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now you could simply just put, please deeply, you know, do deep research and analyze each transcript. Um, and that's going to be more than enough for what we're doing here. Now, what we're going to do is connect it to Google Sheets. So we have our Google Sheet. If you need to connect a new account, you just add a credential, log in with your Google account. Super simple. Next, we're going to append row is going to be the actual operation. Document is going to be whatever that document name is. And then the sheet is going to be that actual sheet. And these will pop up. So you'll see all of your documents from YouTube as long as you're logged in. Or sorry, <laughs> Google. Um, now, mapping column mode is going to be set to map each column manually. And then you're going to see your columns that we talked about in the very beginning. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And this is the most recent test right here. Now you can see that obviously this transcript's long. We're not going to be viewing this, so it doesn't need to be pretty. You just need to get it in the right columns. Okay. So we're going to map each one. Now to do that, we want to come over here to the webhook. So you see all this data. If you don't see the data like this, you might see it like this or like this. Okay. All you have to do is click on schema. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you're going to see body right here, and you're going to see your four things that you sent over from your webhook. Okay, so there's the four, and then the body, you're going to see these four. All you do, drag this and drop it right into there, and now you're going to have your four matched up. Click test step, and you're good to go. Okay, now again, we're not going to be covering this part of the workflow, uh, but we want to shift our focus to the actual agent that we were talking about. So to, to build this, the first thing we need to do is open up Telegram. Um, when we open up Telegram, we're going to click this icon right here, and um, we're going to send a new message to the bot father, okay? Literally bot father, at bot father, username, okay? Um, now, all you have to do is hit forward slash uh, new bot, and you'll see this pop up, create new bot. You're going to click that. As soon as you click new bot, you're gonna get a response from the bot father. Normally it's a little quicker than this, so we'll give it a second to actually respond. Um, but we'll use this up here for an example. So new bot, um, so hey, how? what are you gonna call it? Holla the assistant, um, good, let's pick a username, holla the assistant underscore bot. Please note that you do have to have underscore bot at the end of whatever the username is. Now you will see done, congratulations, a new bot is created. If you click this link right here, that's going to open up the new bot. I'll show you that in a second, but don't click on that yet. What we want to do is grab the token from here. Okay. If you click it, it automatically copies. And then we're going to head over to NADA. We're going to create a Telegram trigger. So again, hit the plus icon, type in Telegram, and then scroll to the very, very bottom. You'll see triggers. Click on triggers, scroll to the bottom again, uh, and you see on message. Okay. Now, when you select that, you're going to see Telegram account um, or connect a credential, trigger on message. So if we want to add a new credential, all you do is click new credential, paste that token in there and click save. Now you are connected to your chat bot. Super, super easy. Okay. Um, I'm already connected. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then the next thing you're going to do is add an AI agent. So we type in AI uh, agent. Oh, let me get out of Telegram. So we're going to type in agent and you see AI agent. We're going to click that and it's going to pop up the AI agent. Now, if you've never built an AI agent, we have other videos on this on our channel as well. But specifically with the AI agent, there are three things you have to know. You need an open, you need a chat model, you need a memory, and then you need a tool. Okay. So in this situation, we're actually going to call the, the Google sheet with our tool. So this Google sheet up here, we're going to add it here in the tool section. Um, so all you do is click the add tool and then you're going to basically 
connect that sheet. Now you don't need to add the columns because we're not inserting anything into the sheet. Uh, we're good to go. We're just gonna get rows. And you can see operation is get row. So you do the same thing as you did with this Google Sheet. We're gonna just add the icon right here. We're gonna go to Google Sheets, click this, and then you should see get rows. And we wanna select that, okay? Now, once that tool is added, you wanna add window buffer memory. So the window buffering memory, uh, let me move my face out of the way. There we go. Uh, so we will, um, let me just delete this uh, so you can see. You just hit the plus icon and then you're gonna see window buffer memory. Literally just click that. You don't need to do anything else right now. And then AI chat model, same thing. Uh, we have another video on how to connect the OpenAI chat model. So if you get stuck there, leave a comment. If you can't find the video, we'll make sure that you get the video. Uh, but we just connect our chat bubble, okay? Now in here, one thing to note is you want connected chat node trigger. You wanna change this to define below. Okay, and you need to pop your key in there. Perfect. And then for the Telegram trigger, what we want to do is click test step. And then we're just going to come into our bot and message it test. You can really message it whatever. Uh, and then it should capture the test. You can see, boom, text is test. Okay, so super, super easy. Then we're just going to run our agent. And it's probably going to fail because I haven't done one thing on the window buffer memory that I needed to do. And this is important. Again, remember when we switch this to define below? When we do define below, we need to put a key in here, okay? There's two ways to do this because you were, we need the Telegram trigger to grab this message. And the first thing I wanna do is in the tools agent is drag this over here to text, okay? So you see how we did define below because this is normally connected chat note trigger. We are gonna do define below and then you have text right here. And we are gonna drag message into here. Okay, now all the easiest thing to do is copy this message right here and then come down to your uh, window buffer memory and paste that in there, okay? Because we want to run the message off of that. Now, if you play this again, it should process right through, boom, just like that, and we are good to go, okay? Now, the final part of this is we are going to create the Telegram uh, node that is going to send it back to Telegram. So we just hit the plus icon, add Telegram. And then once we add this, we want a message. So resources message, operation send message, chat ID. All you have to do is come over here to this left-hand side. You'll see chat and an ID. Drag and drop that up here. And then text is going to be JSON output. So instead of message like it was before, we want to grab the AI agent's output. So drag that, drop it into here and you'll be good to go. Now, the only thing that we have not covered, I'm just gonna test this and you will see that it's gonna spit that right back into my uh, Telegram channel. So we'll give it a second. But in the meantime, I wanna come back to this AI agent. So we need to make sure there's a system message. Um, and you can just use the same message you used before, but this one is very simple. So like this one is very detailed to actually get all of the information that we want. If you come to this one, it really doesn't need to be that clear. It's you are a helpful assistant. You review the Google Sheet with all of the meaning history and provide valuable insights to Mashud based on his request. Please sign each message off as blank. You don't have to do that last part, but we had some fun with it. Holid is an employee for our company. So once we do this, you will then start seeing these messages pop up in here. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna toggle this on and we're gonna test one more time. So um, we're gonna come into here and say, hey, um, oh, I have to update Telegram. You guys saw that I had to update Telegram <laughs> mid mid video. So uh, we had to, you know, I, I tested it, like tried to get it to respond. It wasn't responding. So I actually had to go in and just reconnect to the bot after this. So the same process we used with the bot father to connect it in the first time, I just created a new credential and reconnected it. Once we did, uh, you can see here, I said, uh, restarting the test, the test went through and I said, what are your calls like yesterday? Um, and then it gives me this uh, breakdown of what actually happened yesterday. So again, really, really cool concept. You can send over the transcripts. You can ask it anything about those calls. What are some coaching feedback? Uh, what are three key highlights from the, my last call? What happened yesterday, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the best part about this is you can tack on to it. So in your AI agent, you could add a calendar note. Okay. So if you add the calendar node, you can connect it to your Google calendar and you can also ask it, Hey, what meetings do I have tomorrow? Right? So 
ultimately, if you build this initial tool, you will have everything you need to build even more on top and you can call multiple tools. So again, I can just connect my Google Calendar, um, make sure that Google Calendar is connected, uh, event, create, I don't wanna create, I wanna get or get mini, right? So get mini. And then from list, I wanna pick my actual calendar. So Jordan at RevPilot, uh, return all would be toggled on, boom, boom. And now I can actually call this tool and make sure that, you know, if I ask it, what events do I have tomorrow? And I actually pull those in, okay? So I hope this video is helpful. Um, if you guys get stuck in this, leave a comment, make sure we know, we'll make sure to point you to another video uh, or provide the context that you need. If you want that uh, prompt or the other prompt, let me know as well. We will get it in your hands and uh, stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you on the other side.